Hello out there. I'm Geronimo, and welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons. Due to popular demand, we're back with another Shaders tutorial, this time for GTNH version 2.7. And good news, it's even easier than before. This information will also apply to modern versions of vanilla. GTNH ships with a mod called Angelica, which is a backport of the modern shader loaders, Sodium and Iris. If you're playing vanilla, you'll need to download those and install them. Links below, just find your version. I recommend using something like the Prism Launcher, where you can create a Minecraft instance and include a mod loader by default. Create an instance on whatever version you want, select a mod loader, Fabric is usually good for new versions, and click Go. After it creates, open the game, let it load, then close it immediately. Then, open the instance folder, go to the mods folder, and drop sodium and iris in. Bingo bango. If you're on GTNH 2.7, you don't need to do anything. Just start the pack. Everything from here applies to both. You'll need a shader pack, of course. I use Samsung's complimentary Neon, which is made specifically for GTNH 2.6, but seems to work fine for me on version 2.7. If you want to download it, the links are in my Discord. Whatever shader pack you choose, the installation is the same. Go to Options, then Video Settings. This is a new look and feel courtesy of Angelica, or Sodium if you aren't in GTNH. Turn VSync off, and put your max frame rate on Unlimited. VSync tries to match the FPS to the refresh rate of your monitor, which is probably below 60 FPS. Turning it off is going to give you a much better idea of your actual performance and how much it changes when you adjust settings. Ignore all the rest unless your performance ends up really bad, and go to Shader Packs. Open the Shader Packs folder and copy the zip file in. It should appear right away, so go ahead and select it and turn shaders on. That's all there is to it. If you're using any shader pack besides complimentary neon, or the regular complimentary shader pack, yes, that is a shader pack you need to download. That does not mean they are complimentary with the game. This next part doesn't apply to you directly, though most shaders have similar settings. And luckily, with Angelica, the performance is so much better than it used to be, you don't really need to change much. Fair warning though, another thing that's changed since the last time I did one of these videos is my computer, which is now NASA quality. If you're on something with a little less horsepower, you might need to change more settings than I have. And also, this is only necessary if you want the exact same look that I have. If you like something else better, that's totally cool. Okay, with that out of the way, first of all, in Sky, I have the galaxies and nebulas all disabled. No other reason than I want to use them for my story. They're super cool though, so I wanted to mention them. Next, in lighting, I turn the block light color to pure white, all three at 255. It makes torchlight look a little unnatural, but it makes every other light source much more vibrant. In world, I have waving leaves and vines turned off. Some modded trees don't respect this, and it can look weird to see some trees waving and others not, but I do like the waving grass and crops. And light shaft settings. The type is on hybrid, the quality is on ultra, and the strength is on 0.5. In post-process, I have Bloom turned completely off. For me, this is about how Celestis looks with the emissive light. It's too much for me. But this changes other things too, so be prepared to turn it down instead of off if you don't like it. And I have Motion Blur off too. There's some native blur with Angelica, and I don't need any extra. In Shadows, I have the Shadow Map Resolution on Medium, and the Distance on 12 Chunks. And nothing changed in Materials or other. That's all there is to it. The only other thing I use is the Better Foilage mod, which you can find in my Discord too. Now go forth and prosper. And hey, stay positive out there. 